Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, and welcome to a special outreach update from Jerusalem, Israel. We're living in exciting and prophetic times. There's never been a generation closer to the second coming of Jesus Yeshua than this generation. We're not setting any dates, but we know that the time is near. We know that the veil is being lifted. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. And Jews in Israel and around the world are hungry for the truth. There is a revival in Israel. There is salvation in Israel. All glory goes to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Jesus Yeshua. We're living at the time of Amos chapter 8, verse 11. The days are coming, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. We're in those times right now. We're in the season of the Feast of the Lord, from trumpets to the Day of Atonement, to the Feast of Tabernacles, the last and final feast that foreshadows that we tabernacle with Yeshua forever in the New Jerusalem, Yerushalayim HaChadasha. Revelation 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will tabernacle with them, and they will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them as their God. Hallelujah. And that's what the feasts point to tabernacling with Yeshua forever. As right here in Israel, 30 days before the Feast of Trumpets and all the way to tabernacles, shofars are being blown, the trumpets. As believers in Yeshua, we understand that these trumpets point to Messiah Yeshua. With the sound of the trump, we meet the Lord in the air and go home. Hallelujah. That's what it's pointing to. Psalms 89, verse 15. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy continents. And we know that that light is the light of Messiah Yeshua. Hallelujah. As the Messiah of Israel team were praying, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we went down to Jerusalem to the Kotel area, the Western Wall, to preach the gospel in the time of the feasts. I noticed an Orthodox man praying at the wall, crying at the wall. I approached him and asked him, I hear you praying and crying. He turned to me and said, yes, I'm praying that the Messiah will come. I'm praying for the peace of Jerusalem. I introduced myself. He introduced himself as Arav Langir Avraham, Rabbi Langir Abraham. I asked the rabbi, where is your synagogue? He said, in Talpil, Jerusalem. He didn't ask me what I'm doing here. I said, I'm here to proclaim the joyful sound. He said, yes, the shofars are blowing all the way to the feast of Sukkot, tabernacles. I then told Rabbi Langir, yes, but there's one sound. That is the true sound, and that is the joyful sound. The rabbi was puzzled and said, what do you mean? I turned the Bible to Psalms 89, verse 15, and read together with Rabbi Avram Langev. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. You see here, there is a joyful sound, and God wants us to walk in his light. He wants us to be in his presence. That is the true trumpet, the true shofar. That is the true sound, which really represents the voice of God. God is not searching for a religion. Those that know the joyful sound will have a relationship. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. I then asked Rabbi Langev, Shemoshe Rabbeinu, Yarat Mehar Sinai. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai, the Bible says that his face was glowing with the Shekinah glory. Rabbi Langel said, yes. I said, that's the light of the continents. If you want to be in the presence of God and have that Shekinah glowing, you have to know the joyful sound. Rabbi Langel was now getting interested. He said, I want to know the joyful sound. Praise Yeshua. The prayers of the team were working. The rabbi was now being fascinated. The Holy Spirit was working. I asked Rabbi Langel, how many shofars blow until Sukkot, until tabernacles? He said, many. I said, but there's only one true joyful sound. The rabbi once again said, I want to know the joyful sound. I began opening many scriptures with Rabbi Avram Langel. Isaiah 53, Micah 5.2, Jeremiah 23, and many Bible passages pointing to Messiah Yeshua. Finally, he asked, what does this have to do with the joyful sound? I then asked the rabbi, can we sit down? The rabbi said, yes. Praise Yeshua. Right there in the Kotel area in Jerusalem, we sat down and had a Bible study. Finally, we reached Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. 
The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. This is the one that the Bible is speaking about, the joyful sound. This is the only one that can bring you into the true continence, the true light. All of us have fallen short of the glory, but through him we become righteous. Through him we have eternal life. Through him we have salvation. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. And the punishment that brought us peace was on him. He bore all our sins, everything on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. The rabbi was sitting there in the Kotel area. He was getting nervous. Finally, he asked, who is this speaking about? It was time for the full gospel. His name is Yeshua, Jesus who died on the tree on the cross for your sins. He rose on the third day, and by his blood, if you repent and believe, you have full redemption of sins and eternal life. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds, we are healed. The rabbi was sitting there in the hotel area together with me. He became speechless. He didn't know what to say. I turned to him and said, this is what we read in Psalms 89, verse 15. Blessed are those who know the joyful sound. The fact that I came here to the Kotel area today and you were praying and I approached you is not a coincidence. The word coincident is not in the word of God. This is a divine appointment. The fact that you're a rabbi in Talpiot is not a coincidence. The fact that we're in the time of the feast of the Lord is not a coincidence. God is calling you today not to hear many trumpets that are not real, but to hear the true shofar. Blessed are those that know the joyful sound. He wants you to tabernacle with him forever, to sukkah with him forever. At that moment, something supernatural happened. I've never seen anything like it. The rabbi forgot where he was. The Holy Spirit was working. He said, I want to accept this Yeshua. I asked him to stand up. And right there in the Kotel area, Harav, Langer Abraham, Rabbi Abraham Langer, accepted Yeshua as his personal savior. He prayed with me. He repented right there. We pray that Rabbi Langer would have the courage to stand up in his congregation and share that Yeshua is the Messiah. We continue to pray for Rabbi Langer and his congregation. And pray for all those who heard the gospel. And for Zion's sake, we will not keep silent. Isaiah 62 verse 1. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. And we know that the word for salvation in Hebrew is Yeshua, Jesus, her Yeshua, like a blazing torch. And he's coming back with fire in his eyes as Aliyah Yehuda, the line of the tribe of Judah, to take back everything that the enemy has stolen. And until that time, we will continue to preach the gospel. We will continue to proclaim the truth. Achikol Israel Ivasha, until all Israel shall be saved. Romans 11, 26. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat sending you blessings from Yerushalayim, from Jerusalem, Israel. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Al Yehuda, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Great I Am, Jesus Yeshua. Amen. Blessed are those that know the joyful sound. And together, let's unmask the Chaldean spirit. Straight from the land of Israel and right out of the heart of Messianic Rabbi Zev Parat comes Zev's brand new book, Unmasking the Chaldean Spirit. The subtitle reads, A Messianic Rabbi's Stunning Supernatural Journey to Zion and the Life-Changing Treasures He Uncovered Along the Way. It's being described by readers as explosive, deeply moving, an unbelievable journey, a world of perspective and insight. Dr. Tom Horn, CEO of Skywatch TV and an acclaimed best-selling author says, Zev truly pulls back the mask on the predominant spiritual battle of the last days, and he does it by metaphorically taking you by the hand and placing you right in the middle of the Holy Land. His work is scholarly, thought-provoking, and tantalizing. My name is Carl Gallops. I was blessed to write the foreword to Zev's book. I've read every single page of it, and I assure you it's riveting and eye-opening. Let me warn you, though, don't pick it up thinking you'll read just a handful of pages, then put it down. That'll probably be next to impossible for you to do. Unmasking the Chaldean Spirit, available at fine bookstores everywhere. 
and at the major online bookstores as well. Get your copy now.